this two-dimensional ripple tank animation, we can see that energy radiates outward from the source, and as it moves away from the source, it's spread thinner and thinner across a wider and wider circle. That means if you measure sound from one meter away, it will be noticeably louder than it is when measured at two meters away. In fact, assuming this is a true point source and that this is a free field where there are no walls, ceilings, floors, or other boundaries, the sound will be six decibels or six dB quieter with each doubling of distance. In theoretical conditions, we can predict this with formulas based on the inverse square law. And this principle holds true in the real world as well. Before moving on, I want to mention one more thing for you to remember. This ripple tank simulates only a cross section of the sound waves we're discussing. In physical space, sound from a point source radiates outward in a sphere rather than in a circle. This is important because it means that every time you double the radius between the source and the listener, the sound will be spread out over four times the area of that sphere.